Welcome back. Let's play Lands of Law and let's play the most foul smelling dangerous area in the entire bloody game. And I say dangerous because one misstep, one arrow key forward too much, you step to a sinkhole and die. This is a bit of a frustrating area, but I will try and slowly make my way through it. Killing these annoying critters as we move along. And I say annoying um, and I'm really meaning it. Freeze seems to be the only thing that really works on them. I think hammers do as well, but of course Laura kept our only uh, only uh, sledgehammer. So we'll have to make do without it. That was a good hit. Now with three damage, this is gonna take forever. Which means we'll freeze him again, and hopefully now we can sleep afterwards. No, these bastards I keep on coming. Kata is poisoned, and... Axel is currently, this is a way to pause it, out cold. He's got ranged attacks too, it's a bit annoying. Oh! I'm drowning. This is what happens guys, I stepped in a pit. Well, back to the start of the video. Like I said, it's a hard area. And very frustrating. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. Finally, that one died. Maybe this Gorka can help. I don't think they'll fight for us though. I think this guy is frozen here, unless we attack him of course. You can play this evil as well as uh, as good. I mean you can attack these guys uh, and clean out the swamp entirely. I think the best way to go is here for now. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know if this actually does any damage or just holds them for a bit. It does cost a lot of magic, so I don't think I'll use it again. We'll stick to freeze three here. Past, I don't have enough magic. And there's a staff beater here. That's not the best. I even want to keep these rocks. I don't think I can use this emerald anymore. We'll put that over there. And I'll have a little sip here while Axel recharges, because this is a great time to just kick back and have a glass of wine. Or at the very least a sip. When he reaches the higher levels it will be a complete glass indeed. Now there are more chests here, but I don't have any room for anything. And I want to find the shops and specifically, not, not just any shop, I am looking, and I know it's still a long way away, for a very specific situation in the game, a very specific um, and it's not even a shop, it's, not, it's, it's called a monument or something. I can hit both of them with uh, the magic, that's cool. If we're fighting two of them or there's one behind, we can just cast this stuff. This will hit him, I guess. No, he was too far away, it was a waste. Damn it. I don't have enough magic. With that little bit of magic he had left, he can still cast. Freeze 3, that's pretty amazing. Now we have to tickle him to death, of course. I could throw a star occasionally. But that does seem to hit him. Now we do hit him, it just doesn't do much. Yeah, I'm tempted to give away a bit of the story here because this swamp uh, has its own little story to it. But basically, I went this way because I know I can get rid of my stuff, clean my inventory and get a good price for it. Poison. It's the Dutch in me that wants a good price for the items and not just throw them away or sell them at a shop that will give us crap for it. Makata has been poisoned, it occasionally just happens because you walk into a pocket of swamp gas. There is a way to cure poison and you need heal 3. You can also just let him fall unconscious and then heal him up with heal 1. That works as well. But that's a bit nasty, it's a bit mean. I'm wondering what the... Um, I think we have to go up. I 
Dead end. Okay. I think we do have to go up. And I'm walking very carefully here. Let's save. Let's save a bunch. Because I don't want to step into one of those bloody sinkholes. These are orc heads. I love these guys. Anybody who kills orcs is my friend. I think Makata's asleep. Because of the swamp gas. Yeah, now he's awake. <laughs> he sometimes dozes off because of the gas in this particular place. Maybe it's also because he has a history with gas himself. I don't have but that's Lancelot too. It's more like a future with uh, gas himself. If you played these games, you know what I'm talking about. If not, maybe I'll do Lancelot 2 at some point. If uh, people enjoy watching this, I think it might. Because I sure as hell... Oh, damn it. Enjoy playing them. Let's use an item. And let's not use heal. Let's get rid of the enemy and then sleep in peace. Thank you. We also have one free item slot now, so we can pick up something at least. And my god, does this take forever. But it does do, do wonders to your magic. You're on your way to Mage 5. Fighter 1 too. Let's try and get you uh, to land some shots. And these are not the best enemies to do that, actually. These are not the best. I'm pretty sure if we go down here, we'll find more stuff. The Gorka must be mighty warriors. The Gorka... The Gorka must be mighty warriors. Yeah, they want us to believe that. <coughs> dagger Assassin. It's still just a dagger. <laughs> Thank God there's not too much crud in this one. Hmm. Well, there's no real room for the oil. Let's leave the aloe, it's not that useful of an item. But any item we throw away now is gonna cost us money. Yeah, we'll have to go down here just to get it on the map. Cover your nose, something here stinks. This is a nasty little sinkhole that you can approach from two sides. Let's not. Bunda, remove your weapons before entering the chieftain's compound. Sure, we'll remove our weapons. Here you go. We'll just put them on the floor right in front of you and we'll go in peacefully. Quick, he's not looking. Get him back. No, we don't have any weapons. No weapons at all. No. Of course we don't have any weapons. We follow your rules. Okay, this looks uh, actually quite civilized. Ah, you come to trade with Igorka, no? Uh, well, uh, sort of, I guess, no, maybe. We... What do you got? Look, we have this beautiful red stone we take from orcs. What will you trade me for it? We. You know what this is, folks? It is the Ruby of Truth. Trade first, touch later. Here, you have some oil. I do not want that thing, but your eyes tell me you desire this red stone. Uh, not at all, what gave yes, you that impression? It's ridiculous. You are powerful warriors, yes? I will make you a deal. If you can destroy the powerful living sticks that have stolen our beloved brass helmet, I will give you the stone. Okay. Uh, we can attack, we can steal it. If you steal it... Uh, it might work, it's not very heroic, I guess. We can attack, which is definitely not heroic, you'll be completing genocide, wiping out the Gorka. Or we can accept the quest, and since we're heroes, we're gonna accept the quest. Good! Bring the helmet as proof. Oh, you're not the trusting kind, are you? Well, let's save it up. We have a quest upon a quest upon a quest, as any good uh, Dungeons & Dragons campaign would have, or any other role-playing game. It starts off simple. And then shit gets complicated all by itself, and before you know it, you'll be doing chores my weapon. for several people at once. This is very annoying. They can actually grab the weapon out of your hands with those uh, stick hands of theirs. I'm trying to remember if I know where that particular thing is on the map that I'm looking for. The answer is no. <laughs> ah, cool, we can do Spark 4 now with uh, both our guys. Uh. 
And I know I'm probably overusing magic quite a bit, but uh, I just love it. Later in the game it's quite important to have high magic, especially with Axel. He's the only guy that you can play with that is able to cast the highest level of, um, well, the more difficult and, and more destructive spells. Which makes him quite special to play with. I totally agree with the choice you guys made. Gods, this is worse than a flatulent orc. <laughs> Eh, uh, well, pretty good one-liners in this one occasionally. There is a way to get over this. You can freeze it up. But of course, uh, it was totally unnecessary, wasn't it? The most dangerous uh, thing is if you freeze it up and then find another pit. And then try to walk over it just at the second that the whole damn swamp is defrosting. And, well, you got a good five seconds to wait before you plunge to your death. Okay, we're, we've come full circle. Yeah. Oh, there's a shield there that you can't really carry. And we're not healing. I want to freeze. A dwarvish buckler. Ah, yeah, dwarves make good stuff. There are no dwarves in the game, I think. I'm not too sure, actually, at this point, now that I mention it, but I don't think there are any dwarves in the game. Uh, we need the riddle scroll. We definitely need the riddle scroll. Is there, an is there another scroll? There's a burned scroll. That Richard. Yeah, that's useless. That is useless. This leads up, which is not really where I want to go. Or do I? Yay! I think this is it. I think this is it. This is, this is a pit and there's a little... Uh, well, this looks like a, a Gorka warrior of some kind. Now, I can remain here and remain on top of this pit, even if it's defrosted as you can see. Uh, I can't step off, of course I can't step back. And this is a little foreknowledge, of course, but I can chuck in like a rock here. Take it back and get, uh, what was that, 60 coins for it? Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. We got 720 now. Yeah, 60 coins. And that's 60 mm -hmm. coins for everything. Mm -hmm. And that is quite nice. I think the basal cup is worth more than 60. But anything 60 or lower, you can actually sleep here, by the way. We'll go. And I do mean everything. Let's clean up our inventory. Maces are 40 gold if you sell them, I think. Even bones make us uh, a little bit of money now. That maze might have been just about 60, but uh, since we're here, it doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of it. Dagger Assassin, bye-bye. There will be better crossbows in the future as well. Star Shining is an awesome star, but uh, no more longer any use for it. We'll sell the sandals, we'll sell the rapier, we'll sell everything. We don't need the boots even, do we? Nope, both have boots. If you play with Kieran, he's a hue line, a cat people. Uh, he can't uh, wear the boots. Okay, we'll save that, save that flask, it's needed later on. Mace Bouncer is pretty good, but uh, it's not good enough. Look at that money go. And you have to be careful about what you throw in this thing, because I think he'd, he'll take anything, even quest <laughs> items. <laughs> the game is not too friendly when it comes to that. 3,000 bucks. And a nice clean inventory. Ah, let's give you the staff as well. I think the longsword is about 100 gold, so this should do. We sold all of our stuff. We're gonna explore this little bit over here, but I think we have to go back. Yeah. Now remember this little corner well. There might be a good chance that I'll uh, go back here at some point later in the game. Might run here off screen even. Just to get more money, because yes, this money will be spent. We have a free inventory. Let's hope we get a lot of loot now. Because we have the room for it. 
These are those stick people, the Gorka we're talking about, so let's hope we kill them quick and find that helmet. One of them will simply drop it. And then we are making great headway, because uh, if we get to that point, he'll just give us the ruby. We will have the ruby of truth. We've seen it. We know where it is. Nice. That's quite nice. And it's a dead end. Um... I think we should head south. No, this doesn't lead anywhere. I want to head to this direction then. And this is dangerous. I almost stepped in there. Okay, we've covered our tracks here now. Let's go over here. Sometimes you get a hit from the gas. And yeah, this is what is dangerous because a moment ago the whole swamp was frozen. And I was about to just step over this. Is this the exit? This must be the way out of the swamp. That's a nasty exit with this sinkhole just in between them. Okay, well, we need to hunt for more of those sticks, which means, where do we go? We go in this direction, I guess, because we have explored all of this. Double checking, yeah. And let's hope those sticks find us. Well, I guess I could uh, quickly pop by. And throw in some crud. Yeah, that's a great point in the game. I don't know why it's there. I don't know if there's any backstory behind it. If there is, I have sure as hell never found it. But it's just a giant gaping thing where you can chuck in all of your stuff. And get money for it. Why there are not a thousand people there doing the same thing with their rocks and their shelves and, and their pots and pans and whatever people have, I do not know. That smell can kill. I'm just gonna explore more of this particular place now, but um, this is the village I think we're coming up on. With huts and stuff. Ah, excellent. But also more of these guys. <laughs> Come on, die already. Pakata is uh, falling asleep again. You can wake him up like this. Let's see if we can get some fighter skills here. It's about time Akshal gets a little bit more health. That's a nasty sinkhole. Here's another. And here are lots of sinkholes. Come on, drop a helmet already. <laughs> on command! It doesn't do much more than a normal, ordinary uh, helmet. We'll explore the rest of this in a second, because there's a benefit to getting this helmet back to the leader first. I know, foreknowledge again, but I cannot unknow what I know. And I love the swamp, I love the little story, I love the Gorka, the fun people. So I remember this quite well. It's dangerous to really go fast through this particular place. I'm just checking and double checking. Now it's always finding the corners. That went well. And let's get to the leader. Hello! Did you bring me our beloved brass helmet? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, thank you. You have performed a great service for my people. From this day forward, you shall be known as Heroes of the Swamp. Huzzah! Take the ruby that you requested and guard it well. Take also this trident as a token of my appreciation. This is a great weapon, too. It really is. I'm sticking with the rapier. And we have the Ruby of Truth, we can actually wear it. That means we can't lie, but uh, we're honest heroes, so... 
And we're swamp heroes! The hunt is magically seen. We are swamp heroes, heroes of the swamp. And that's the reason I went back here. Because uh, there are some shops here. The Gorka have a little village with uh, some nice people in there. And they actually have some good stuff that they will sell to us. But they sell it at a discount once you are a swamp hero. Hence, I did that quest before I sought out the village. Yes, foreknowledge and maybe a bit clever, but um, I like uh, running the money game. <laughs> Here we go. I see him coming up on 20 minutes, so maybe we'll do the village in the next uh, one. I think it's beyond those um, horrible pits of death. Yeah, beyond this particular bit here. Yeah, you can see by those posts that we're in civilized lands here. This is, uh, yeah, here we go. There are silver coins. In the next in video, here. guys, we'll visit uh, one of the shops, one of the two shops that they have, maybe even three shops, come to think of it. And we'll do some browsing. See you in the next video when we'll continue playing Lands of Lore.